Welcome back to our channel, the channel for the latest news and untold stories, and great fashion stories about Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and her royal family. Today, we bring you fashion stories. Catherine's utmost glamorous in the most stunning coat dress outfits as she wows the people with her chic style. It might be difficult to find appropriate clothing for the cold. The trendy are sometimes forced to hide their meticulously planned clothes behind some cumbersome tops because the practical considerations of being warm, with insulating textiles covering as much flesh as possible, have taken precedence. It may be cold outside, but Princess Catherine proves that it's feasible to continue looking chic even when the temperature drops. The Princess of Wales's expertise in outerwear has evolved into a signature of her impeccable style. After everything, as opposed to the rest of us, she has no choice but to smile for the camera during outdoor gatherings. But contrary to struggling with shivering or falling in with the dowdy wintertime style, Catherine has instead accepted an ensemble that she comes to over and over again, the coat dress. The coat dress is both a warm outer layer and a complete ensemble, with its crisp cutting reminiscent of a formal attire offset by the silky feel and flutter of a twirling skirt. Catherine typically chooses A-line coat dresses that cinch down at the waistline in place of tights since they're more figure-flattering than traditional jackets and can be worn outdoors without worrying about becoming cold. Particularly, she favors Catherine Walker's interpretations of the form, and she frequently chooses models that blend bright, contrasting hues with unusual coat fasteners, like double-breasted hooks. Her go-to house seems to originate from Alexander McQueen. The Princess of Wales looks incredibly chic in her one-piece outfit. All she needs are a set of complimentary footwear and maybe a headpiece to attend an official royal occasion. She even wore them during an army parade. She had also donned them to the Christmas ceremonies at Westminster Abbey. The most pleasing aspect, however, is that her love of a coat dress has rendered that particular style instantly recognizable as being uniquely Kate. Similar to the Queen's signature black coat and hat ensembles, the look has come to be synonymous with her impeccable taste in clothing. If you've been at a loss for how to inject your personal style into the season of layers, grab a cue from Catherine or rather, a coat from her wardrobe, as well as aim for a coat dress. Let me throw an apparel showcase for you, in which you may borrow the basic shapes and colors that Princess Catherine has in her wardrobe to enhance your own beauty. On the 23rd of March 2021 in the United Kingdom's capital, Princess Catherine wears a cream-colored Catherine Walker lacy coat while visiting the COVID-19 immunization center at Westminster Abbey in London. The Princess of Wales sports dark blue mulberry while partaking at an outdoor walkabout in Ballymena Town Centre on the 28th of February 2018. On the 17th of March 2018, visiting the capital, attended the St. Patrick's Day Parade as part of the 1st Regiment Irish Guards when wearing a fur-trimmed Catherine Walker. When touring at the Centrepoint event in Barnsley on the 14th of November 2018, Catherine wore a blue eponine dress. Catherine and her daughter, Princess Charlotte, attended the marriage nuptials of Harry and Meghan Markle on the 19th of May 2018, inside St. George's Church, Windsor Castle, which is situated in Windsor, England. Catherine was dressed in Alexander McQueen, while Princess Charlotte wore a dress by the same designer. Following the official launch of the VNA Dundee on the 29th of January 2018 in the Scottish city of Dundee, Catherine was seen leaving the building wearing a plaid Alexander McQueen dress. On May the 11th, 2017, Catherine paid as a single day trip to Luxembourg, where she spent the entire day at the Palais Grand Ducal sporting a pale blue Amelia Wickstead outfit. The Prince and Princess of Wales attended the Commonwealth of Nations Day ceremony on the 9th of March 2020 in the British capital. The Princess of Wales was dressed for the occasion in a stunning burgundy Catherine Walker dress. On the 8th of June 2019 in the British capital, Princess Charlotte, Prince Louis and Princess Catherine were all photographed in baby yellow embroidered Alexander McQueen outfits while participating in the Parade of the Colour, the yearly commemoration of the late Queen's birthday. The Princess of Wales attended the National Service of Thanksgiving as a component of the festivities celebrating the late Queen's 90th birthday on the 10th of June 2016.
in the British capital. She wore an embellished Catherine Walker outfit for the ceremony. The Royal Garden Party was held at Buckingham Palace on the 21st of May. Catherine attended the event sporting a pale pink Alexander McQueen couture. On the 11th of March 2019, Catherine attended the Commonwealth Ceremony at Westminster Abbey in London, wearing a red Catherine Walker double-breasted coat. The event was held in honour of Commonwealth Week. Grey is the colour worn by Princess Catherine during her trip to King's College in London. Catherine Walker on the 19th of March 2019. Following her trip to the Royal Opera House in London on January the 16th, 2019, Catherine was seen wearing a coat dress by Oscar de la Renta that was designed in an intense purple hue. The last time she'd donned this ensemble was in February of 2017. For the 19th of March 2019, the Princess of Wales went on an unusual joint trip with the late Queen Elizabeth II. The engagement took place at King's College in London during which the princess donned a grey Catherine Walker outfit that included a black Peter Pan neckline as well as a stunning black fascinator. The Princess of Wales was seen beside Camilla Parker Bowles and Queen Maxima of the Kingdom of Netherlands at the ceremony honouring the Order of the Garter on the 17th of June 2019. This event recognises the accomplishments of both male and female heroes. During the ceremony, Catherine wore a white Catherine Walker outfit that featured black trim as well as a black lock and co headpiece. In the year before last, Prince William and Princess Catherine set off to make a formal visit to Pakistan. Throughout the course of her visit, the Princess of Wales often chose outfits that showed homage to Pakistan's rich cultural heritage. On October the 15th, 2019, for instance, she wore a marine green Catherine Walker overcoat over a pair of Maheen Khan slacks. During the parade of the colour, Catherine attended in a beautiful green outfit by Andrew Gunn, which made her seem both elegant and fashionable. The Princess of Wales picked a stunning green outfit for the King's birthday parade, undoubtedly as a homage towards the Irish guards who she was honouring with her choice. There's an extended red coat dress by Eponine London that belongs to Catherine. She's already been seen out and about wearing the clothing thrice up until this point, for an excursion to Cardiff Castle during the course of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee Honours in 2022, as well as a trip to a Soho bar in advance of the Monarch's Coronation Festival in 2023, to officially release the Hold Still novel in 2022. 13th of March 2023, Catherine attended the Commonwealth Day ceremony looking absolutely stunning in a flowery piece outfit designed by Erdem. In order to participate in the multi-religious commemoration of the Commonwealth of Nations that took place in Westminster Cathedral, the Princess of Wales gathered a large group of royals, including her partner, the Prince of Wales, as well as King Charles and Queen Camilla. We appreciate you taking the time to view today's video. What's your opinion and how do you think about Princess Catherine's sense of style? She's wearing a coat dress appropriate for the winter season. And would you appreciate it if you could share your opinions with us? And we'll see you later.